cocktail. That was my line. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> I was gonna get there. <laughs> Tonight we have a special guest, my lovely wife. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> because she likes gin and tonics more than I do. So with that in mind, we're both gonna taste the test them and we're just gonna see which one we like better. Tonight we're gonna be trying four different gin and tonics using four different tonic waters. We have Canada Dry, Schweppes, Fever Tree, and some weird Japanese tonic water that I found at the liquor store. It doesn't have a name. I don't know. Kizashi? Kizashi. 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 And then for our gin, we're gonna use Plymouth Gin. This is one of my favorite gins to use as a basic gin. It's a citrus forward gin, so it really helps with the gin and tonic to bring out the flavors because you're really just having gin and tonic water mixed with a little bit of lime juice from your garnish if you want, but really tentacles of the gin really tend to stand out. And I'm hoping we find whether the tonic water actually makes a difference in this or not. That's my plan. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make four gin and tonics on a smaller level using our nice small itty bitty glasses here. And then I'm gonna walk away. She's gonna mix them up, I'll walk away. She'll walk away, I'll mix them up. It'll be a lot of extra effort. So we can try to blind taste test them and see which one we like better regardless of price or any type of preconceived ideas on which tonic water is better. We are dedicated to the scientific process here. Science. With that, first what we're going to do is we're going to try each a little bit of the gin by itself so we can get an idea of our base flavors. And because we've fallen upon hard times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready to taste some straight up gin? I... Straight gin to start the night. Honestly, don't know that I've ever done this. Exactly. Since raiding my parents' liquor cabinet. All right, there's your gin. Okay. Ew. <laughs> It smells exactly like Bombay to me. It's a hefty pour there. It's half an ounce. <laughs> <laughs> For a straight gin. Okay, so here's our straight gin. We're just gonna try it again, get a really good baseline of what to expect before we mix in our tonic water. So, cheers. What, what are we cheersing to? This video's success. To this More video's than three views. Success. More than three views. <laughs> Pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty on okay, its own. Okay, actually, yeah, that's fine. That's a very smooth gin. Um, not as aggressive as I thought it was gonna be at all, so. Again, yeah, pretty citrusy. A little bit of the ethanol smell when you first go with it, but overall pretty good. Yeah, I think the aroma, what do I think about the aroma? The aroma gave it a lot more of a strong impression than it actually has. That's a pretty good gin on its own, so. My fears were misplaced. Okay, and so we'll now get a quick little refresher. And now make four gin and tonics. Now I'm gonna make four gin and tonics. Now to make these in secret, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one gin and tonic ratio. First, I'm gonna start with our ice. I'm gonna put one piece of ice per glass. There we go. And now one ounce of gin per glass. All right, so our gin's in our glasses. Let's go ahead and crack open all these tonic waters. I'm gonna give each one a quick little mix. Now for our nice garnish. Well, this one's pretty obvious, but we'll move on. Okay, I'm gonna leave the room. She's gonna come mix them up. We'll do it again, then we'll drink them. The kizashi is not to be ignored. What if I just left? Okay, I'm done. Well, clearly we know which one the Japanese one is. Have I typically out. squeeze the lime over the gin and tonic and then leave it in. Fair enough. Let's That's do it. That's the way that I prefer to do it. Please notice we rationed our limes because they are very expensive here in Japan. $3 per lime. That's ridiculous. So just know how much <laughs> I am dedicated to this channel every time you see me use a lime. Because it hurts. Okay, so we're going to start here. Would you like the honor of the first sip? I would love the wife? honor of the first sip. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, a kind of weak aroma compared to what that gin smelled like on its own, so that's interesting. It could be because I sneezed. It could be because she sneezed. Okay, that tastes like a really weak gin and tonic to me. All right, well, we could be running into some problems. <laughs> well, the ice is almost all melted by already. There was ice in there? Yeah. Oh, huh. What kind of ice did you put in there? Clear ice. Overall, I don't really taste any tonic, that, that hard, 
quinine taste. Like I don't get any of that at all. I really just taste the gin with like a little bit of lime juice. Yeah, the lime doesn't really shine in this at all. Yeah, I think I more get some lime because it's all over my hands from squeezing it in. Okay, it's been a while since I've had a gin and tonic, but yeah. I don't think I love this one. Okay. I think the flavors are kind of muted. All right. So, yeah. Let's, Let's go on to the next one. one. Are we giving these quantitative rankings at all, or we're just going to put we're them? We're just going to rank them best to worst for ourselves. Okay, okay. So keep in mind, whatever that one is. All right, I'll Wait, try this one. we have to cleanse our palates. Right. Now <laughs> we're going to cleanse our palates here. again. Mm -hmm, to your good health. Okay, so let's try <laughs> our second gin and tonic. It smells really good. It smells really lemony, actually. Even though it has a lime in it. Right in the face of the lime. <laughs> <laughs> it just ruined the lime. It honestly does smell lemony, though. <laughs> what the hell? No, it doesn't. Well, I don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> Do I have COVID? No, I we don't. Just took a test. We just took a test. <laughs> this is way better than the first one. There is so much of the gin flavor coming through. A little bit of lime juice is present. Really, it tastes pretty good. Here, why don't you give it a try? I'm gonna give it a try. You give it a try. Okay, now that our little Our secret is label just... is falling off. This is not good. <laughs> okay, let me first and foremost comment on the lime aroma that arises from this drink. Lime, Lemon, you do lime. have a It's basically the same fruit. Well, that's not what the price is saying. It's true. Three dollars a lime is a lot of money to spend. And that's why we drink straight gin now. It is. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Less carbonated than I was expecting, but still a really good solid option for a refreshing classic gin and tonic. I'd recommend this. All right. All right. Two Cheers. Two testing negative for COVID-19. Hey. Okay. Cleansed. I wonder which one this third one will be. The color totally doesn't give it away. I'm not quite sure. All right. You're up. I'm up? Okay, You're up. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna say there is a mild to non-existent aroma on this one, which is always interesting because the gin on its own had so much aroma packed into it. So let's give it a try. I think this <laughs> has a lot of nectar flavor. I would be your own calling it honey. It's really unique and interesting. I think I'm getting more of that, uh, what do you call it in the tonic? Quinine. Quinine is coming through a lot on this. Yeah, this is a really interesting take on it and there's a lot of smoothness and mellowness that you don't usually get with a gin and tonic. So, interesting. Okay. What do you think? Let's see. It is weird how you basically smell nothing with this one. But Whereas, on the, the gin on its own is like... Yeah, the gin on its own, you smell a lot of <laughs> botanical and, and ethanol, alcohol. On these two, you smelled something. This one, you smell nothing. <laughs> At least it's not lemon. But tasting it is a different story. <laughs> you get a lot of the gin taste to me, but it is a bit sweeter than in, than the first two by a lot, which is weird because it's just tonic water. I don't know what's in this one because the label's all in Japanese, which really prohibits, uh, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> I know this kanji says sun. The sun. It is flavored with the sun. Bottle of the sunlight. Rice field and animal legs. All right. So there you have it. <laughs> and there it is. It's rice field animal legs in the sun. It's not, in fact, nectar or honey. Rice field animal legs in the sun, gin and tonic. But it is pretty good, but it kind of hides the gin flavor a little bit more than I would like. I thought you said you could really taste the gin when you first sipped that. I'm fairly certain. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a video. Just to be sure, I don't really know what I'm tasting anymore. I know. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, that nectar taste really just smooths everything out. I taste the gin, but I really taste this tonic water. Yeah. Animal eggs in the sun. <laughs> rice field animal eggs in the sun? I mean, we could go on. Yeah. I think it's rice field animal eggs in the sun. Yeah, I don't know about that one so much. You don't know about it? It's good. It's unique. It definitely has like a different taste from the first two. Do you prefer it to this one? Yes. I think I do as well. Yeah. Because it's special. <laughs> it's just, it's it's a different taste. This is like a traditional gin and tonic. This is that kind is of like gin and water. Thing. I don't like it much. This one, I, I don't know what happened to that. That flavor just kind of died. Exited the building. This one has some flavor, but not traditional gin and tonic. Let's go for our last one. Let's go for our last one. All right, I'm gonna start. Yeah. Okay. All right, I definitely get some of the gin smell coming through on this one. Let's give it a try. Okay, yeah, I think this one has a lot more carbonation coming through. Very crisp, very clear. 
I think this is the best gin and tonic that we've had here in terms of a traditional one, and I still think I prefer these flavors to this one, despite its uniqueness. So this one, for me, is the winner. That's something big to compare to there. What? I mean, you call it the best. I think it's you know? the best one. Okay. I don't necessarily disagree. It's got a big tonic water flavor, but it really does come together well with the gin. Together. Yeah, yeah. It really does come together nicely with the gin. There's a hint of lime juice going on there from when we squeezed our lime. Mm -hmm. It's tasty. It's refreshing. It's the best. It is the best. Okay. Definitely the best. Big statements, but the correct okay. statement. We're going to go ahead and rank these. We've got number one, number four. Okay. What was it? Four. Canada Dry. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have Canada Dry as number one. I knew it felt one. more carbonated and that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with number two. Okay. What was our number two? Was it this one? This yeah. guy? Yeah, okay, well we know which one this one is. It's the Kamazashi? Kimazashi. No, Kizashi. no, my <laughs> Kizashi. It's the Kizashi <laughs> Japanese Kizashi. tonic water. Drink every time John mispronounces Kizashi. Kimzashi, Kimzashi, Kimzashi. It's not, it's Kizashi. I wanted to make them drink more. Oh my God. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Kizashi tonic water, number two. Number three, we're going with this one? Yes. All right, number three I is number two. I'm betting it's this one. Beaver tree. Beaver tree. And number four, basically water, Schweppes. Sorry, Schweppes. <laughs> we'll never get them to sponsor me now. Okay, so here is our ranking. Number one, Canada Dry. Two, Kizashi. You got it the first time that Congratulations. time? Congratulations. Fever Tree and Schweppes. This one's the most expensive one at about $3 a bottle. I think Fever Tree comes in between $1.50 to $2 a bottle. This is about $1 a bottle and this is about 80 cents. The ranking is not necessarily tied to how much it costs. The most expensive one was not the best one. Definitely the most unique one though, I think. But these two definitely have, in my opinion, the most traditional gin and tonic flavor. Yeah. This would not buy again. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The glass bottle couldn't save it. The glass bottle could not save it. So that's all I think we've got for tonight. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Consider following us on Instagram. If you'd like to see a cocktail made on this channel, please leave me a comment below or send me a message. That's all we've got. Anything in closing? That's it. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see a comment, nope. God damn it. Would you like to see a comment? Would you like to see a comment? I would love to see comments too. Ah, I would love to see comments. I would love to see your comments, please.